Hi, everyone. I'm Frank Morrison. And I'm Connie Morrison. We're in Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. I wrote the book, I Got the uh, School Spirit. And I'm the illustrator, and I painted it. My job was to make it look as cute as possible. <laughs> and my job was to write the extra special words. Oh. So this book is about a little girl whom we call Miraculous. It takes us on her journey through her first day of school at a new school where she meets new friends, she meets a new teacher, new principal, and she's nervous. However, by the end of the day, she's learned new things and got a whole new team um, alongside of her and it, she's happy and can't wait to the second day of school. Oh yeah, great, great. So I'm going to read a couple of pages in um, the book. And, and I'm going to do a couple of sketches while she reads. Okay. So summer is over. My first day of school was here. I got the spirit to start the school year. Wow. The school spirit, spirit helps us all strive and grow. I can't wait to see what I'll learn tomorrow. Ooh. What spurred me to write the book, I Got the School Spirit, was um, my our last daughter, Tiffany, watching her each year go through um, her first day of school. And last year, her last year, she completed the third grade. So going into a new class with a new teacher, with uh, unfamiliar um, students, she didn't know, although she was in the school from kindergarten through the third grade, third grade, she didn't um, have too many faces that she recognized. So that's what sparked me to write, I Got the School Spirit. Well, I think with this young lady, that what I believe she does is she basically, she goes and she creates friends. She sees what, what Miraculous likes to do is she likes to um, start the initiative of friendship. And what she does is she finds children that are in need and like this little girl here is nervous when she gets on the bus and she's crying and, and miraculous seems like she might be as well, but she wants to be strong for, for her friend and to help. And throughout the book, she helps her uh, find her place and she sits with her and in um, the whole nine. So they're, they're trying to just stay together and uh, work together through, through her uh, ups and downs of the first grade. So with this series, yes, it is a series. And the first book was entitled, I Got the Rhythm. Mm -hmm. And what I would like kids to get from the book series is their own sense of selflessness and um, self-love. And uh, although, you know, reality teaches us or is showing us one thing inside of us, we feel a whole nother thing. And so I like to um, write happy things in my books to encourage kids to just keep on keeping on and um, just knowing their self-worth and the strength that they possess, that's their power. And I like to add diversity in the books. I like inclusion. And so I have one nationality. So I grew up wanting to see myself on television or impressions of myself on television. And so I feel like it's my duty to make sure that I include everyone in all nationalities. So everybody say, oh, she looks like me or he looks like me. And we love when we do, um, uh, we go do book signings and the children like, that's me and that's yeah. me. And I'm like, oh yeah, th yes it is. Mm -hmm. Yes it is. I thought it was my daughter, but of course it's you. Yes. Yes, yes. And, that's what I like to, um, that's what I love best about this I Got the Room series. Boys and girls, we are all superheroes and we have superpowers. So when we go to school on our first day, it's very important that we get to meet our new friends and our new teachers and learn as much as possible because the more we learn, the more we know and the faster our superpowers will grow. Wow, that was dope. Whoa. <laughs> And for those that are going to go to school, because a lot of kids are going to be online with school. Yeah. Yeah. So the online school, make sure you find, make sure you have um, a great connection, right? <laughs> An internet connection, right? Yes. Make sure you have that. Uh, you make sure that you still understand the purpose of learning 
is to build what you would call that superpower. Yes. So later on in life, you'll be able to pull from that to be able to make the make it to be what you want to be. Decision. If you want to be, if you want to be an artist, and you want to be a writer. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so this school is very important. So make sure you learn as much as possible. Trust us. Yes. <laughs> So, <laughs> uh, okay. right now, yeah. we're in Frank's home studio. Yeah. <laughs> Frank, has, Frank has a studio away from home, a big, uh, big studio. So, Frank worked in um, his studio. And as a, I can't answer as an illustrator, but I could tell you from my perspective as his wife and friend, he, um, his work platform, Form is different. Frank dances around and he takes off his shoes, do different things. And with <laughs> me, when I write, it needs to, I need to have a candle burning and I the light lighting needs to be a certain way and quiet. Oh my gosh. Quiet. That so, funny. So, we, <laughs> wow. so we work um we worked on a book in um two different spaces. And I think that's what um made it even better because it not only was we able to give the children a surprise, we was able to give each other su a surprise as well. Yeah. yeah, it's it's rare that um you have a husband and wife team yeah. and it's rare that the author and illustrator meet. Uh, normally it's at the end of the book, maybe you see each other at or conference. at a book science or mm -hmm. conference uh, such as this. Um, so we, we're fortunate uh, uh, to be able to work together so we can shoot ideas and um and I we are both pulling from I think the same sources and that's our children and watching them grow up. Uh, at one point, we our daughters, all of our daughters, had this hairdo. Yes. And so, but hairdo. they had the braids in it. Yes. And so we can all relate to that. And um, when I met Connie, she was from New York. <laughs> so I go the New York City in there. It could be any city. So I put those city backgrounds in there because that's where they looked at when they had these hairdos. So that's what we throw in. And I think that's the cool thing of being able to work together because we can relate to a lot of the things. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So <laughs> I absolutely love the Library of Congress. And hopefully I'll have an opportunity to come into a book signing or a book reading story time for the kids. And libraries in general, that's like my hangout spot. So I go to the libraries <laughs> so much that you in do more writing at the library libraries, than you do at home. Yes. Yeah. So I go to the libraries so much, or I used to go before um, this new pandemic, so often that all the library librarians from here, know like her. maybe five she counties has her own over, area that she works. They in know place. me, and they actually give me my own private offices when yeah. I go into the library and. I, I just, I don't think I could live without the libraries and um, uh -huh. without the librarians. Librarians are special people. Yeah. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. My story is totally opposite of that. <laughs> I haven't been in library since, no, I go to libraries. Every once in a while I go to the library, but because um, I work out of, I, I work out of um, my studio most of the time. But the library was very important when I first started painting because uh, I didn't have the internet. And the only way you can get reference images or photos or learn about different artists was by going to the library. You had to put the work in. And to me, it actually felt better because you were walking there, walking through those aisles, finding this work, and it felt so much, it felt so much, I don't know, like more it was fulfilling. You on different journeys, yeah, right? Yeah, because now you're actually looking for these artists and you find yeah. them and you're talking to a librarian and they're giving you more inf inf uh, information about these artists and, you know i used to go all the time in, in new jersey we lived in yeah. jersey and so i would have to say the uh, library was very intimate uh very important to me uh when i was when i first started painting and still today i i'm surrounding myself with books yes so if i could pass one thing on to children it would be um the internet is important however reading is um important as well and reading is fun uh, reading, um, for me, actually takes me on trips all around the world just in a story. Um, and each book is different. Each journey is different. So reading, it's important to read every single day. Every read day? something every day. Every day? 
And um, it's actually, well, for me, I wrote, I write every day and I've mm. been writing every day since I was a little girl. Um, it's important to write as well. Write your happy thoughts, your sad thoughts, your angry thoughts, write it all down and look at it another day. And it becomes a book after a while. Mm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. But every day? Every day is important. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's my time? Yes. What do I want to leave the, the, the young kids out there? And then, well, I'm, I'm an artist. And what I can tell you guys, and the best thing you can do is be, if you want to become an artist or an illustrator is that um, it's going to be a weird one. You ready? <laughs> Check this out. Draw as good as you paint. And then when you've done that, paint better than you draw. And you continue that process over and over again. And then in the meanwhile, research. I love so many different characters. And what I like to do is I like to check out the artists on either online or at the bookstore. I buy books or from the library. I pick up the library, books from the libraries on those artists. And I love researching them and figuring out why did they paint like that? What is the story behind them? And so do the research, uh, draw all the time, paint all the time. And you can't make a mistake as an artist. It's, it's learning. Every mistake is a learning uh, process. Yes. And so you continue to do what you do. All and right? Show them what oh, doing. and here's my drawing. You ready? Boom. There it is. She got the rhythm. First yes. day of school. And we would like to thank the Library of Congress for having us. Yes. And thank all of you to all the new students and the mommies and dads, um, teachers, librarians. Oh, and I forgot, wash your hands. Wash your hands and, and sanitize it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody have a good day. All right.